Sometimes Allah says such harsh things in the Quran that actually it becomes hard to translate. It becomes hard to translate because we have so much love and respect and honor for the Prophet wasallam that some ayat, it just, you just get stuck. Like, the words are difficult to bring out of the mouth. وَلَوْ تَقَوَّلَ عَلَيْنَا بَعْضَ الْأَقَاوِيلَ أَخَذْنَا مِنْهُ بِالْيَمِينَ ثُمَّ لَقَطَعْنَا مِنْهُ الْوَتِينَ If he, the Prophet, had it been the case that he made up even a little bit of what we revealed to him, had he filled in even one word, the ayah is coming down, maybe he added one word from himself. Some things he added to the Qur'an on his own. We would have grabbed him by the right hand and slit his jugular vein. You think he has the right to make stuff up himself? Allah says in another place in the Quran, He says, وَلَوْلَا أَن ثَبَّتْنَاكَ لَقَدْ كِتَّ تَرْكَنُوا إِلَيْهِمْ شَيْئًا إِلَيْهِمْ شَيْئًا قَلِيلًا Had I not, had Allah not made you strong, Prophet, had Allah not made you firm, you might have compromised a little bit. You might have leaned towards them a little bit. Shay'an qalila, just a little. Ithan, and had that happened, Ithan la'adhaqnaka dhi'fa al-hayati wa dhi'fa al-mamat thumma la tajidu laka alayna nasira. And had that happened, I would have given you twice the painful death. And we I would have punished you twice in life and twice over in death. And you won't find any helper. Whoa. That's Allah talking to who? The Prophet ﷺ. Why such harsh language? Just so it becomes clear to anyone. If this Quran is made up by the Prophet himself, what do you say about himself? I, I'd get my, my, my neck slit. And I'd get twice the punishment in this world and in the next. Would he talk like that? You know who these ayat terrified more than anyone else? The Prophet himself, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Because when it comes to believing that this is the word of Allah, then you have to reveal the toughest ayat, even for the Prophet, even for him. Then the the Arabs said, you know, I'll tell you. Actually, I'll, I'll read off to you what they said. قَدْ نَعْلَمُ إِنَّهُ لَيَحْزُنُكَ الَّذِي يَقُولُونَ We already know that the things they say to you make you sad. فَإِنَّهُمْ لَا يُكَذِّبُونَكَ They are not calling you a liar. وَلَكِنَّ الظَّالِمِينَ بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ يَجْحَدُونَ However, these wrongdoers, it's, it's, the fact of the matter is, they're arguing and they're rejecting the miracles of Allah. وَلَقَدْ كُذِّبَتْ رُسُلٌ مِّنْ قَبْلِكَ Messengers were called liars before too. Before you also. فَصَبَرُوا عَلَى مَا كُذِّبُوا So they were patient over whatever lies that were made. وَأُوذُوا And they were also tortured. حَتَّى أَتَاهُمْ نَصْرُنَا Until our help came. وَلَا مُبَدِّلَ لِكَلِمَاتِ اللَّهِ There will be no word, no changing the policies of Allah, the words of Allah, the revelations of Allah. وَلَقَدْ جَاءَكَ مِنْ نَبَعِ الْمُرْسَلِينَ And by the way, information and news and full accounts of what happened to previously sent messengers has already been given to you. Now they said, we're not going to accept these words. If you give us something we can see, we'll believe you. If you just show us a miracle that we can see with our own eyes, we will believe you. And Allah keeps saying, no, I will only give you what? Words of Quran. That's it. That's all you get. And the, the disbelievers would say, that's not enough. Show me something. Like you keep talking about Musa's stick turning into a snake. Why don't you bring a stick that turns into a snake? You keep talking about, you know, your God can do anything. Well, let him turn that mountain into gold. Show us something. And in response, sometimes even if the thought crossed the mind of the Prophet ﷺ, Ya Allah, if you just showed them something, maybe they would shut up. Maybe they just believe. Just show them something. Allah teaches us in other places in the Quran, if Allah showed them, has Allah shown pre previous nations? And did it help them or did it not help them? It didn't, they still disbelieved. They called it magic and they still disbelieved. And then Allah destroyed them. If Allah shows a miracle and you still disbelieve, He will destroy you. Actually, Him not showing a miracle is them, is Him 
saving the people. But look at how Allah describes it to the Prophet He says, وَإِن كَانَ كَبُرَ عَلَيْكَ إِعْرَاضُهُمْ If it's such a big deal to you that they keep walking away, they keep ignoring these words until you show them a miracle. فَإِنْ اسْتَطَعْتَ Then if you, you think you can do it yourself, أَنْ تَبْتَغِيَ نَفَقًا فِي الْأَرْضِ That you can go dig yourself a hole in the earth, أَوْ سُلَّمًا فِي السَّمَاءِ Or take a ladder and go up into the sky, فَتَأْتِيَهُمْ بِآيَةً And bring them some other miracle, go ahead. Dig, dig into the earth and find yourself a miracle, and take a ladder to the sky and find yourself a miracle. I ain't sending one. Quran is enough. That's what the Prophet was told. Would someone say that to themselves? وَلَوْ شَاءَ اللَّهُ لَجَمَعَهُمْ عَلَى الْهُدَى Had Allah wanted, He would have gathered all of them on guidance. He would have gathered all humanity, they all would have been guided. This is, if Allah wanted, everybody would have been a believer. Allah wants people to make their own choice. Not impose His choice on them. <laughs>